Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It is Stephanie again, and today I wanted to kind of finish up um, my series about my favorite fall things. I've already done my favorite fall lipsticks and my favorite fall nail polishes. So this video is going to be um, my favorite blushes for fall, and I'm hoping that I can also get my favorite eyeshadows for fall up but I'm not sure. Miss Liliana is already up from her nap. She literally slept like 20 minutes. Enough time for me to get my makeup on and that was it. So um, just depending on how she's doing, I give I gave her a snack and she's doing fine right now. But you know, all y'all moms out there, you know what I'm talking about. So this is a mix of drugstore and high end. I actually, I think I only have one drugstore. But blushes were never really my thing. Like literally until probably a year ago, I maybe had one or two blushes. I've always been more about lipsticks and eyeshadow. But then I've just really kind of gotten into blushes in the past year. So I, I have quite a few now. And let's just start. I'm going to start with the drugstore. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is one of the Milani baked um, blushes. This is in Red Vino. And I have gotten several of um, the Milani Blate, uh, Bait blushes. And this is the only one that I actually really like. I've given the rest to my mom besides Luminoso. I, I kept that one because I keep thinking that I can use that. Okay. So this is um, pretty much a kind of a wine or red color blush. I actually have it on today. I don't know if it's showing up. It's kind of showing up there in the light. But generally I just kind of put it on um, up high on my cheekbone with a very light hand. And I love wearing this with red lipsticks. Just, you know, you can sheer it out and it's really nice. The next one I have is a um, Josie Marin, and this is actually a color stick, so you can use it on your lips or your cheeks. And it is in rosy. She's wanting some on her lips. I'll put some on you in just a minute, baby. And it looks like this. And it says rosy, but I kind of, this to me is a little more mauve but, you know, um, maybe not. I don't know. I do like it. I think it is just a nice, which I kind of put a dark swatch on, but it, it's just really nice for fall. Um, and it's easy to put on. It's really easy to blend out. And I really like it a lot. It's just pretty. My aunt actually gave me um, this one in another color. One of those. And this one you've heard me talk about is my Illamasqua blush in Thrust. This is my first Illamasqua blush and I am really, really liking it. There's several I want to get. And this is definitely a berry kind of purple tone. But you can definitely wear it with um, pink lips. I usually wear it when I'm wearing my purple lipstick. But you can definitely see especially up against the more pinker blushes this is definitely purple tone and this blends out really well too all the ones I just can't stand like blushes that don't blend good okay and this is probably one of my all-time favorite blushes this is a baked matte satin blush um, from Lorac in flaunt and I've had this about two years um, and it really doesn't look like it I, I do think the, yeah, you can kind of see that the dome has kind of went down, um, but I really, really love this. And you can wear this, I wear this pretty much year round, but it is a pink that definitely has a um, kind of a purpley tone to it also, but it just, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love that one. And... The next two will actually be um, Benefit, and this is the Rockateur blush. I did a review on this, and I am in love. This is just so beautiful. 
I only have um, two Benefit blushes, but I am really loving both of them. They're just really nice. So this is kind of um, right here. This is kind of a rose gold color, and it's pretty neutral. So I think you know if you're cool toned or you're warm toned, you, either one could get away with wearing it. Just a nice natural um, everyday look, and it is just gorgeous. I actually want to get a couple more. Um, of the Benefit box blushes, but I'm definitely going to have to wait till after Christmas <laughs> to kind of treat myself. And this is Hervana. I know you've heard me talk about this a lot. I absolutely love this. Um, and there's several reasons I love this. I love it for one reason is because I'm addicted to anything that you swirl together. I do not know why. I just <laughs> I love things that you do that and you make a color. And then you can even, you know, you can work up here and get more of the berry pink tones. You can blend it all together. If you blend it all together, it's definitely almost like a very natural color. It does have some pink to it, but it is just it's here. Very, very natural. So a lot of times if I'm wearing a very, very bold lip, I can just, and I don't want anything very much on my cheeks, I can throw that on. And it does give my skin um, some color and a little bit of glow, but it doesn't, um, you know, make me look like a clown or anything. Because who wants to look like a clown? <laughs> I don't. And I tend to wear bright lips and, you know, sometimes I'm a little bold, but even when I'm bold, I do not want to look like a clown. So this is a limited edition MAC skin finish, and it is Lust. Um, what collection was this? I can't remember. This was one of the... Yes, I see. Eat your peanut butter. Good girl. This was um, one of the collections that came out right at the beginning of fall, or right at the end of summer. Hi, yes, I don't want to bite right now, darling. You eat it, okay? But it is still available online at the MAC the last time I looked. Um, and I didn't buy it when the collection first came out. I've just bought it um, probably a month ago. So you swirl it together. The only thing I think, this is a little glittery. It looks like that. There you go. It looks like this. And it is just really, really pretty. See, oh, that's the worst place for a swatch there. But it's almost like a cranberry color. I think it's going to be really beautiful, um, especially around like Thanksgiving. Just really, really nice. Um, this is actually one of the first mineralized skin finishes that I bought because number one, I've only been into Mac for a couple of years, and I kind of concentrated on getting the lipsticks and foundation and um, eyeshadow for Mac. Now, I did get the mineral skin finish in natural because I use that every day. I love that. But just as far as um, the colored mineral skin finishes, this is one of the first ones I got. And I'm really liking it so far. So if you are interested, hopefully it is still available online for you. So those are my top, I think there were seven, blush choices for fall. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and hopefully I will be um, getting my uh, fall eyeshadow video up relatively soon. I'll try to link that below when that is up. Hope you all have a great day and I love y'all guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Yeah.